The update for Anime Adventures came out nearly 16 hours ago, guys. And since then, I have been doing non-stop grinds on the game to get better and showcase some really cool stuff for you guys. We hit 50,000 subscribers last night, which is absurd. That's like 50,000 and 30 already, which is insane. Um, but today, I want to showcase the new White Beard Evolved Golden unit yes i got a golden evolved white beard unit we're going to showcase him see what he does hope you guys are excited make sure you like subscribe turn notifications on and let's go ahead and get into the intro now it's time for who wrote, wrote that, that comment? comment it's jacob i'm sorry if i said this wrong Hoon. so the first thing that you will notice about this is the fact that I have my white beard right there. And my white beard is literally golden, guys. That is like the second most difficult trait that you can possibly get on your unit. And I got it on the brand new white beard. It's pretty insane. Now, what it does, it increases my white beard's like yen earned by five percent so the reason why i don't necessarily love it is because white beer doesn't necessarily like i don't know i need him to do more damage i need him to attack faster i need him to have more range i don't need him to make more gold so other than him looking really fancy um my white beard is kind of just like this i do have another white beard as well that i got um, if I unequip this one, I can equip a regular white beard. So there we go. We got a regular white beard right there. He's pretty decent looking himself. Um, but I do like how the golden version of white beard looks. So there he is. Um, this is white beard's base stat damage with range as his like passive 13 range, 7.8 seconds, and 147 damage. And then at level 53. He's at 11.8 range versus the 13.4, uh, 7.8 seconds versus 8.3. So it seems like he actually attacks slower with this, but then his damage is 500 and something. So I don't know how to actually tell how like his damage changes. I don't think his cha it changes anything. This unit gives much more in Lenny. So he's gonna give us much more in Lenny, which is fine if you don't have a farm unit, but Golden, it's kind of just a showcase unit and he looks really cool. Um, damage wise against Madara, he's at 542. Madara is almost maxed out at level 6. He's 825. And Broly's at 474. So he's doing a little bit more damage than Broly. Um, but Broly does have God Speed, so he attacks pretty quickly. But what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and evolve this White Beard. If you go over here, go to Beerus, talk to Beerus, and then White Beard's item is the Quake fruit it takes two mythical fruits 10 greens 10 pinks 13 blue blue is the hardest fruit to get for me it took me so many trials to get all these blue fruits but i finally got it i could like get so many other things but i am gonna get this one i i do want the hat conqueror but thankfully i don't need blue fruits which is great because look it doesn't use any red fruits as well so i will be able to get shanks evolved pretty soon but i'm gonna create a quake fruit for my white beard there we go i got a mythic quake fruit i need a unequip white beard and then let's go ahead and select him evolve and look it's gonna take one quake fruit and 20 fruits from the new world in order to evolve him and then we're gonna evolve, and there we go. We got the Emperor Whitebeard Mythic with the golden passive on him. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip him as my main unit real quick. This is what he looks like. Uh, he looks basically the same, but he is a lot stronger. Here are his new stats. 771 damage, 7.5 second cooldown, and 12.1 range. Um, yeah, he got pretty insanely strong right off the bat right there. Um, almost comparable to Madara's damage, but 
Let's go ahead and take him out on a test try, I guess. Um, we'll go ahead and take him on the last world so I can get myself some more of these fruits because I'm gonna need more of these devil fruits in order to like evolve more units and get better pizza and better ingredients and pop the roof. So you know what I mean? Okay, but go over here, go to Lorraine's Horde. Um, let's see this one right here, eh, 10, 10. Let's see this one right here. Do it on hard so I can get myself some more gems. Uh, but yeah, uh, what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna go ahead and start this real quick for myself. I'm gonna get my farms going and see just how long it takes for me to get him maxed out. I'm not gonna lie, doing this on hard mode is actually a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be because these guys have a ton of health. So my technique usually for doing these is to get an Erwin out as quickly as I can in order so the horses can come by and like to start destroying all these units. But they have a ton of health. I wasn't expecting them to be this beefy. Like I wanted to place my Bulma down immediately, but I don't know. These guys have a lot of health. Hopefully they'll be able to like get destroyed by these guys. But I'll place another Erwin just so we can get some more of the cavalry like spawning. And that'll hopefully help us destroy these guys a little bit quicker so that we can start placing our Bulma farm. There we go, got another one. Now I can place a Bulma farm finally. Uh, she can just go back here in the corner. I don't really need to see her. And then, uh, yeah, we should be okay for now. I will go ahead and level up this other Erwin, but ugh, this has been a rough start already. Ugh. The hard mode's a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. I am gonna go ahead and just put a white beard right here and have him attack last. There we go. That's what he looks like right there. 700 damage, 7.5 seconds to attack, and 12.1 second cooldown. That guy should technically die. What I am gonna do is level up this Bulma real quick. Give her some more money, white beard. There we go. All right, yeah, we definitely get more money with this white beard. Um, not a substantial amount, but it's to the point where I, I'm not complaining, I guess. 3,000 over there. Let's go ahead and put one more of these right there. That way, in case anything comes through, all these Erwins and these units will be able to attack and destroy them, so I don't have to worry about anything. And I can just kind of focus on like the farming aspect and getting this white beard to the total capacity that he can get to, or the strongest he can get to. Here's his effect, by the way, if you have not seen his effect. Um, he kind of just does a little like quake attack, and just attacks the floor, and it does a little cool raking pattern thing, which is it's pretty decent, not gonna lie. Uh, but uh, upgrade him, upgrade him, and now he's doing 2300 damage, guys. And then the next upgrade, he'll attack every six seconds. Imagine instead of me having gold on him, I had like Godspeed, or if I had like uh, the powerful three, or the unique one, that would be insane. Unique or divine would be insane, but golden, uh, it's a point two, guys, and I got golden. Like, what, what are the odds that I get this on this unit? Like, I'm getting a good amount of coins and everything, but uh, it could have been so much better than this. It's, it's okay, it's okay, we're, we're fine, we're fine. So for this next upgrade, he's gonna learn Earthquake. He gets up to 4,300 damage, 10 seconds for attack, and 20 seconds, or er, 20 range. Upgrade him for 6,500, but the good thing about him is that becomes AOE, which means that he has to attack, or he gets to attack everything, and it really doesn't matter what he's attacking. I can put it on strongest, I can put it on weakest, and he's still gonna be attacking everything that's needed. Now, the thing that White Deer does is that he attacks in like, waves so it doesn't just do a total of like 4,000 damage it does like a thousand a thousand a thousand a thousand and then the units are destroyed so that's kind of a little bit annoying but uh yeah 8,000 upgrade over here 10,000 for this upgrade gosh how many upgrades are there with my Erwin boost though he was doing up to 8,000 damage already that's quite absurd not gonna lie I do wonder if I'll be able to max him out let's see if I give that to Bulma is that worth it or should I just stick to him uh, I should be okay. His range is gonna increase on the next one, and so is his damage. That's gonna be pretty helpful when it comes to like fighting on infinite mode. He's gonna be a pretty good unit to place back here with some Erwins and just do a ton of damage. Now, what I'm really curious about is unlocking his new like ability that we get to use. 
Um, I'm hoping that it's gonna be the upgrade after this. Is it? Yeah, so he's gonna learn Seaquake after this and it costs 12,500 to get that. That's quite a lot, but his uh, attack speed does come down to 9.9. .9. It would be cool if we got uh, God speed on that because that would come down to like 7.9 or so, or if we got powerful three, his damage would be increased by like, what, 20%, which would be quite a lot of damage. So, uh, yeah, Golden is kind of just for show in, in my case on Whitebeard. I do need him to start doing a lot more damage. So I think for the sake of this video and for the sake of, um, you know, just getting a stronger unit, I am gonna reroll Golden off of him. But let's upgrade to Seaquake. And after Seaquake, he actually has another upgrade that increases his range, his attack speed, and his damage. But Whitebeard does have a new ability called Tsunami. I'm gonna go ahead and use Tsunami right now. What does it do? It attacks the ground, and then, uh, oh my gosh, a huge Tsunami just comes by and literally obliterates the units, and I'm pretty sure that it did knockback damage. So that's pretty insane. Huge Tsunami with knockback. Now the cooldown seems to be a little slow for it. Um, maybe like a minute cooldown, which is fine, you know, it's not terrible, but a minute cooldown is a little bit annoying. Let's go ahead and dedicate our hearts to him real quick. How much damage is he at? He's at 9,000 damage, and then on the last upgrade, he'll be at 10,929 damage. That's literally on par with like Broly, if not better than Broly when it comes to damage. Now Broly's range is massive and I think Broly attacks a little bit faster than he does. So I don't know. I don't know where I would rank him against Broly. Now what does make him a little bit better than Broly is the fact that he has this Tsunami ability. This right here might make him better than Broly. If the Tsunami really does knock back like I thought it did for a second there, it is going to be an absurdly strong ability to have for any character in particular. It's going to be like All Might except better because it does a ton of damage. Let's see. Upgrade him. He is now maxed out at 8,743 damage, 9.4 seconds, and 25.1 range. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Dedicate our hearts, and then let's go ahead and use the new Tsunami and see if it knocks back everything. Oh yeah, so it knocks back the front units, it knocked back the battleships right here, and I'm almost certain it's an entire map. So it literally attacks the Tsunami from all the way back here, which makes them a very strong, very viable unit. Um, I definitely think that was worth it. Uh, I just gotta keep grinding and getting him to level 60. Uh, obviously, Broly is gonna be the easier option to work with, but having this huge Tsunami thing might make him better than Broly. Wait a second. Oh, we got frozen. Oh no. He has 76,000 health. I hope I'm able to destroy him at least. Uh, dedicate our hearts, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We should be fine. I, I just get kind of nervous when it gets that kind of far. You know what I mean? Uh, 1500, let's upgrade our horses, yeah, okay. And then we'll be able to use another Tsunami, watch. I, I can just use Tsunami. I wanna see how much damage it does. Cause if it only does knockback, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so it attacks like his whole attack. It does a total of like 10,000 damage or so, which makes him pretty decently OP. Um, and like I said, since it hits the entire map, it's pretty good. It's only gonna knock back the front units, but that is okay. Um, we managed to do this because of our Irwins, but that is the new Evolved Golden Whitebeard. Would I say that he is the best mythical? I don't know. I honestly don't think he is, just because he did cost a lot, and you can only place three white beards. Now, of course, if I'm able to reroll the passive and get a better trait on him, he might be a lot better, but that's something we'll find out in just a second once I go reroll my traits. Uh, Survey Quartz member is dead. There we go. Nice and easy. We got ourselves our gems, and we got ourselves a ton of experience as well. So, four Devil Fruits. Nice. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and reroll that trait. <sighs> Should I? I am. I am. 
Alrighty, here it is guys for the sake of the video. I'm gonna do this golden unit. Um, to be honest, I don't actually see much of a difference when it comes to the golden unit. So here it is. I'm gonna do it right there. Select white deer, use. Let's go ahead and use a reroll. Nimble three? That's pretty good, isn't it? Isn't that attack speed? Yeah, Nimble three's attack speed. I am gonna keep that. I think I'm gonna keep Nimble 3 for now just because I don't want to reroll any lord, but there we go. We got Nimble 3 on him. He does a lot faster attack speed. I think he lost like a second and a half with that. So that's pretty good. That's my team. I hope you enjoyed the showcase. There he is right there. He's no longer golden. Um, but yeah, I'll see you later. Reese's thesis. Bye!